resonances in spectra of wave guides of different physical nature. Thank you very much. Long, long time ago, when I was a student, I was lucky, happy, and honored to listen to the course of Ladizinska. So at that time, just her famous book, uh, Boundary Value Problems of Mathematical Physics, as I remember, uh, has appeared, and we just learned this, this book, and it was a very marked to me by her about my further work. So almost in each of my papers, I try to refer, I try to refer to, to this book. And uh, so it is just here when I'm sitting at my table, it's here. Uh, it's almost this fault. Yes, but I am very happy because while reading this book, I found several small misprints, and this misprint is this, my book is corrected by right hand side of Ladizinska. So I suspect that nobody in this room has such book. Okay, what I'm going to speak about is this, what is written in the, uh, yes, I will, I will consider waveguides. Uh, in general, it is, uh, self adjoint and positive problem uh, with uh, for a system with Neumann, Dirichlet, and other boundary conditions. And what is important for me is that uh, famous results of uh, Kondratiev and Mazia Plaminevsky prove that this problem has a, a continuous spectrum, continuous, not essential, continuous spectrum. Uh, the ray with a cutoff point, and there is no eigenvalue of infinite multiplicity in this ray uh, at all. So, uh, this is the resonator, this is cylindrical outlets, this is the continuous spectrum, and they appear some uh, thresholds. Uh, it's eigenvalues of a model problem on the cross sections which divide uh, continuous spectrum into intervals of constant multiplicity. Of course, uh, I can speak about, I can speak about general problems, but this is not uh, very, very simple, very simple to speak about. It's uh, the results in principle are understandable. Uh, but I, I would like to discuss threshold resonances. I will describe them, uh, them later. Uh, definition, I will give a definition later for some particular problems. And just to show the, the difference between different phenomena which appear there. So the first, exa first simplest example is quantum with acoustic waveguides. It's a scalar problem for Laplace operator usually, maybe second order operator with either Dirichlet or Neumann conditions on the boundary. And the uh, continuous spectrum is, is, as I said, it's a ray, and the cutoff point is either a first eigenvalue positive for the Dirichlet case, or a lambda equal to zero for Neumann case. Uh, so uh, the other example, which as I, I'm going to show, but this is absolutely different properties, uh, is the uh, biharmonic equation. Biharmonic equation is related to Kirchhoff plates. So, and uh, I will consider two cases. It's a clamped uh, edge of the plate when Dirichlet, two Dirichlet conditions are imposed, imposed on the boundary or Neumann case when uh, also two conditions, but of uh, second and third order, which means that the momentum and the force uh, become zero on the boundary. Uh, so continuous spectrum is the same as the Dirichlet and uh, Neumann Laplacian, but of course cutoff point in the case of uh, Dirichlet problem is, uh, is another point. Uh, and uh, in the Neumann case, the threshold equal to zero and it possesses some specific properties which will lead to some unpleasant or pleasant, I don't know how to say, properties of the spectrum. 
okay. So uh, let us return to the simplest problem, uh, Dirichlet problem for Laplace, Laplace operator. And uh, it gives rise to a self adjoint operator in, in L2 of, of Omega. And uh, yes, continuous spectrum. And the definition of Malchanov and Weinberg, it is a long time ago, 07, that the threshold as a resonance occurs in the Dirichlet problem if and only if the problem on the with a threshold parameter uh, lambda dagger this one so just the, the same as here possesses a kind of bounded solution bounded solution is written here and uh, it uh, can be of two types first type if k is equal to zero then solution decays infinity with the exponential rate and uh, it is called a trapped wave or trapped mode. And in this case, uh, I, uh, lambda dagger is an eigenvalue, good eigenvalue of the problem. Or it could happen that k is not equal to zero. Then it's almost standing wave. Uh, it stabilized to, to uh, eigenfunction of the Laplace operator on the cross section, uh, Dirichlet Laplace on the cross section, and it brings also different properties to continue to the spectrum. Excuse me, uh, what is a threshold resonance? You did not explain it at all. The threshold, uh, I repeat, the threshold resonance occurs if and okay. only if it is a definition. It is yes. A Yes, it's another physical, physical uh, term. Yes, term terminology is a virtual layer, layer. And all physicists who works with second order equation knows that eigenvalue can move down from threshold uh, from virtual level. So virtual levels is semi eigenvalue, quasi eigenvalue, something of this type. Okay. But I will prove different story. Uh, so uh, threshold resonance are interested not only for physicists; it, they are also appear as a uh, intermediate problem. It is necessary to know uh, the EP or not uh, threshold. In, uh, very many types of asymptotic analysis. For example, uh, in creating of uh, low dimensional models of thin objects and other things. And it, it is necessary to, to distinguish between uh, threshold resonance generated by a trapped mode or of almost uh, standing wave. And in, uh, by uh, Daniel Grieser and Konstantin Pankrashkin, they were derived sufficient conditions for the absence of threshold resonance. And uh, uh, I and uh, Fyodor Bakharev, we derived two existence absence, and absence of threshold resonance. Of course, both criteria prove uh, existence or absence, but one is useful to uh, prove the absence and the other, the first one, allows to distinguish between, uh, between trap modes and only standing wave. And this is very important, but it's a very complicated object. It's a um, fictitious scattering operator who is responsible for, for this distinguishes. Moreover, it exists only for the Dirichlet, uh, for Dirichlet Laplacian. Okay. So now I would like to, to, to show several examples of threshold resonance. So uh, we are on the lower bound of continuous spectrum of the Dirichlet problem, bounded solution, and uh, the resonance is called proper uh, resonance if uh, k is not equal to zero in this bounded solution. If we have 
uh, one outlet, then they exist a criterion of the proper threshold resonance. That's rather simple because we have uh, reduced uh, our consideration only to proper threshold resonances. Mm -hmm. So we, we consider uh, the uh, special scattering uh, solution describe a, uh, a scattering coefficient in this solution. And then uh, the, the criterion reads as this coefficient must be equal to minus one. So I do not introduce uh, all these definitions. I only say that when we uh, when we enlarge this uh, resonator, then this threshold coefficient runs with different speed along uh, the unit circle in the complex plane, and it runs clockwise. So in this case, clearly it crosses point minus one in infinitely many times, so infinitely many times they appear threshold resonance, uh, uh, proper threshold resonance, but of course it is not stable with respect to this uh, varying of the resonator, or the shape of wave waveguide. Another, another story to, to, to prove that there can be improper uh, threshold resonance when uh, this resonance is generated by uh, a trapped mode. So how to prove it is just to use a, a wonderful uh, trick by Evans, Levitin and Vasiliev. Uh, so what we, we are doing is that assume that waveguide is symmetric with respect to the central uh, plane, hyperplane, then we reduce this waveguide, uh, the problem, Dirichlet problem to a half of this waveguide impose artificial Dirichlet boundary condition and this artificial boundary condition move clearly, move uh, cut off up. Then with the help of, uh, of the trick of Jones, it was my birthday when he created this trick. Uh, so uh, we uh, we enlarge this oh, sorry enlarge this reason this uh, resonator and this proves that uh, eigenvalue when r tends to infinity eigenvalue tends to zero and therefore it crosses uh, it crosses the uh, oops to, uh, it crosses the point the cutoff point of original problem and of course odd extension through the center, uh, center plane gives us a smooth uh, eigenfunction with the exponential decay at infinity, so it's just a trapped mode. Okay, so this is, uh, this is what I wanted to say about simple clear problem. Uh, in this case, Neumann problem is even much simpler because uh, threshold resonance on the zero threshold always exists and always is proper because uh, normal problem uh, without right hand side here has only constant solution constant solution clearly stabilizes at infinity so then this that's why threshold resonance in the Neumann Laplacian is stable okay Uh, in, th in thresholds which appear inside continuous spectrum and uh, they are nothing but, but uh, positive eigenvalues of the Neumann problem on the cross-section uh, of the waveguide. So they appear infinitely many uh, such threshold which uh, at which uh, multiplicity of uh, continuous spectrum jumped up. Uh, and of course, in this case, uh, definition of uh, Malchanov environment does not work, and it is necessary to, to, to work with another definition. And uh, uh, 
the definition is as, is as follows. Uh, the, the EP threshold resonance on the inner threshold, if and only if they exist non-trivial uh, uh, non sol not bounded solution, which do not drive energy to infinity, which does not drive energy to infinity. What does it mean? So uh, it is necessary to consider uh, the following uh, linear uh, form. Yes, it's symplectic form because it's sesquilinear and anti-hermitian. Uh, and uh, uh, it comes from, from Green's formula and is uh, calculated over cross sections of the uh, outlet of the wave waveguide. And uh, see, coming from Green's formula, it is independent on the parameter R where, where we uh, cut the waveguide. And therefore, uh, it's was to, to write without R. And uh, yes, it's here. And this is nothing but um, um of pointing vector, yes. Umov found this thing for acoustic and acoustics and elasticity in this year, pointing in, in this year for el electrodynamics. Sergey, uh, the right uh, uh, term is uh, dv. Uh, d d ah, yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. Here, here we have v instead of. In V instead of uh, of W. The same is here, and <laughs> you know, but this is, yes, this is okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, the Umov pointing vector is a classical definition. It, it is uh, shows, of course, we are speaking about projection of this vector on the axis of the waveguide, and it shows direction of energy transfer. And uh, this uh, definition works not only for uh, stripe outlets, but also pe periodic, and in this case, it is necessary to change the integration domain from the cross section uh, to the uh, periodicity cell. And this gives a definition of all possible threshold resonances. What is important is that. Uh, Classification proper and improper is not sufficient. They appear much more, uh, much more uh, situations which are necessary to distinguish. Uh, proper and proper, it's uh, either a trapped wave in the improper case and uh, only almost standing waves appear in proper case. Simple multiple, it's also clear what does it mean because uh, one or many, uh, not solution which uh, do not drive an energy curve. And uh, what is most important for me, it's uh, for this talk, it's uh, ordinary engine degenerate. Uh, now we are going to discuss this thing. So, so uh, again, I return to my. Uh, examples acoustic and quantum wave guys simple multiple uh, opa no 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 yes if uh, there, there is only one outlet to infinity and the uh, eigenvalue on the cross section is simple then uh, then threshold resonance can be only simple in any case, multiplicity of the threshold resonance is less than the multiplicity of, of eigenvalue of the cross section because it, it, it is necessary. Uh, but it's, it's, and all, what is the most important thing is that for second order apparatus, uh, the threshold resonance can be only ordinary. What does it mean? I have to explain later on. 
uh, example of multiple inner threshold resonance, it's a, it's a, it's a rather complicated story because uh, it is necessary to have two bounded solution in the waveguide with two outlets to infinity. And my example, which, which uh, I spend a lot of time to create, is uh, uh, it has appeared in, in Italy while visiting some restaurant. So two cannoli, cannoli, you know, it's su such big macaroni, connected with at, at least eight spaghetti small. And it is possible to choose uh, shapes of such spaghetti in such a way that uh, this problem on the threshold, on the first threshold resonance in R3, in R2, uh, I do not have an example up until now, uh, has a two bounded solutions. There is a symmetry and one bounded so solution, there comes some, cons uh, some constant wave and it exponentially decaying remainders. Okay. Now, yes, in principle, in principle, almost everything is clear with a, uh, with a second order problems, Dirichlet and Neumann. Of course, some particular examples are not found yet. Now, uh, Kirchhoff plate. First of all, Dirichlet problem and first, Threshold possesses the same property as for Dirichlet. Uh, for Dirichlet Laplacian. I don't know the reason. I suspect that there is there is some background for this thing concerning uh, works of Guido Swirs about positivity of first eigenvalue. Uh, but okay. Uh, it can be uh, computed and we done this with Fyodor uh, Bakharev years ago. And all these results anomalies uh, in the clamped in the clamped Kirchhoff place are the same as for quantum wave guides. And now the most favorite for me problem, it's a normal problem for uh, biharmonic equation. Of course, the same is true for elasticity, but in elasticity, everything much, uh, is much more complicated and I don't want to, 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 to do this. Yeah, so uh, boundary operators are of second and third order. So momentum, and force must be, uh, must be equal to zero. This means that the energy, and this means that linear functions are solutions of this problem. And if you are sitting on the zero threshold eigenvalue, uh, threshold uh, parameter, uh, then we have, <coughs> we have three solutions. One of two of them are bounded. It's a, a constant and a linear function in this variable, but one grows at infinity. It has a linear growth and infinity, but nevertheless, it does not uh, does not drive energy to infinity. It's possible to compute this <coughs> um of a vector, and it is zero. For acoustic uh, and <coughs> quantum wave <back. coughs> sorry. For acoustic and quantum wave guides, uh, with Lukash Chanel, we proved the following theorem that uh, uh, for, for any fixed uh shape of waveguide they uh, yeah, let us fix a waveguide then they exist for any epsilon they exist delta of epsilon such that the perturbation of this order either perturbation of the boundary or perturbation of the operator uh leaves the 
upper part of this spectrum, an interval of the spectrum above the threshold free of the point spectrum. So there cannot, cannot appear eigenvalue. So we have a waveguide, we have a proper threshold resonance, and eigenvalue cannot move up. Of course, if we have improper uh, resonance, so lambda is eigenvalue, it's possible to move eigenvalue up and down. But for in, in proper, uh, for proper threshold resonance, because it is ordinary, it is not possible to move up. But this is the main result of my uh, talk today. So if we consider, if we consider Kirchhoff plate with a traction free boundary, so Neumann case, uh, then we can find the shape of waveguide. We can find a density of waveguide, positive. It is a rather complicated uh, property, but it is necessary to fulfill it because we are, we are uh, dealing with mechanical, uh, mechanical problem. So such that I can will you under perturbation in case of degenerate and degenerate means that they exist polynomial growth at infinity uh, solution growth at infinity Okay, let us explain, let me explain, I have two minutes, uh, 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 the reason for this thing. If you can see the model problem, one dimensional model problem is just uh, reduce everything on the cross section. Then it is a second order e equation and we have the following oscillating waves. And of course this waves cannot give rise to a trapped mode which has to be decaying at infinity. In the case of traction-free Kirchhoff plate, the model problem is a famous Kirchhoff equation. It's a fourth order, and they appear two oscillating waves and two waves with exponential uh, growth and decay at infinity. And starting with this decaying wave, it's possible to create a, uh, a, create a decaying solution of, of the problem. So it, it can be regarded, uh, it can be taken as an embryo of, for the trapped mode. Okay. For general problem, one thing which I want to say is that if we have, we have so-called polynomial property of the Siski linear energy form, uh, this means that uh, for any bounded domain, energy degenerates only on polynomials. The criterion for possibility to move uh, eigenvalue from the virtual level up uh, is the existence of a solution, at least with linear growth at infinity. That's all. Thank you very much for your attention. Questions, comments? Online. Maybe uh, three slides ago, uh, a formula with uh, the root of the power of four. Uh, so uh, how did it appear? Uh, a, a little bit uh, unusual. If you solve this equation, those are solutions. First is oscillating, and second is uh, plus or minus. If we have minus, then there is a decay. And this is just the origin, the kernel of the, uh, of the eigenfunction. It, uh, there is no such solution in the, the second order equation. Mm -hmm. uh, more questions? Okay, let's thank. Thanks. The speaker.
we have five minutes break. Так, 